<laughs> well, he just died. Ah! Don't worry, everyone's bad at first. I'm pretty sure he's ugly crying in there. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Paper Mario Color Splash, new for the Wii U. So this is a game I almost skipped over entirely. I've played a few in the series, but there's so much stuff being released right now, I wasn't really going to try it originally, until Nintendo was kind enough to send me a copy to check out. You might have seen my preview stream of the first 20 minutes, but the humor and music, along with some encouragement from everyone out there in the comments, and some good reviews, it was all enough to get me interested and hooked to keep playing. So now that the game's out, I went and picked up my own copy to play through and experience it with you guys. And with that, let's get this story started. One dark and stormy night, the Grim Reaper and his son decided it was finally time for old Mario to bite the bullet bill. He's gonna kick the bucket, kick the paint bucket. <laughs> He's pushing up. Princess Daisy. No, I don't think she's in this one, but Princess Peach is. And she's looking very cold and concerned for good reason. I love this flickering fire paper in the cardboard chimney. I would be really concerned that Mario's house would just burst into flames, but he's not worried about that. He's more worried about the dead toad in his hands. And our mystery begins with the husk of a paper toad. And our only clue is a single stamp from somewhere I think Mario was planning on taking a vacation to Prism Island. Last time he took a vacation to Delfino, he got wrapped up in a conspiracy and put in jail. So hopefully this goes a little better than Super Mario Sunshine, starting with a murder. We're boarding Princess Peach's private tugboat and heading off to adventure. A pretty dark opening to what's mostly a bright and colorful game. So we're gonna take this from the top, as you can see. That way I don't have to rush through the beginning. We can enjoy the sights and sounds of Port Prisma, but we'll be up to new territory very shortly here. And there's a lot of toads in this game, most of them alive, not so many dead ones. I'm gonna try to, try to do my best and vary the voices from all these different eras of toads back to the Super Show cartoon, Mario Kart 64 and Mario Party, but we are gonna start things off with the current voice of toads. So here we go, brace yourselves. Guys, we're here. <laughs> So this is the famous Port Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> ah, where is everybody? Peach is along as well for the adventure. She's definitely not going to get kidnapped or anything, you know. She'll, she'll be here the whole time, right by our side. <laughs> ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we? Port Prisma? Hmm. I thought this was supposed to be a tourist destination. Seems a little quiet, don't you think? except for the screaming toad. Yeah, weird. I even let him know we were coming just now when I screamed. Uh, you'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world famous Mario. Speaking of Mario, what's he doing? Mario, we're here. Come on out. The Mario, <laughs> not looking so hot. Oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. Ha, ah, you look like a used gun wrapper. Iron yourself out, man. Mario is trapped in a balled up tumbleweed prison, but we can fix that. There we go, he's free. And the adventure begins. There's my Mario, much better. Okay, all right. Let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding, a folded up colorless toad. Why did she fold him back up? That's, that's so cruel. He needs to be buried. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Hmm, <laughs> not to worry, princess. I've read the Port Prisma guidebook cover to cover. We're on ahead to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Sounds like a plan, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with caution. So here we go. And welcome to Port Prisma. So we're gonna have to make our way to the fountain, but we got a, a crate in the way. Now who would just leave a crate in front of the stairs like this? It's blocking our way into town. So, we have to break this crate? That's original. Uh, let's not make the crate another statistic. There's gotta be a better way. Toad very concerned about the rights of crates. And we've got a weird colorless sign here. White letters on a white sign? That's like bad design 101. Who approved this layout? Peach is already micromanaging here. Prism Island, a colorful island paradise. Port Prisma voted the world's most colorful town. Behold, Prisma Fountain and its six magnificent colors. All six of them. There we go. Ah, now we're 
talking. Looks like there's something up on that box. Think you could jump up there and check it out, Mario? Let's do it. And I love how Peach is like <laughs> trying to jump up here too. Sorry. We're gonna pick this up though. Our trusty hammer from all the way back to the Donkey Kong arcade game. Ah, score! This totally makes up for me accidentally tossing your hammer overboard during the voyage, right? <laughs> Why would he do that? I bet it works just like your old one. Try pressing B to swing it. So the only reason for that was just so that we could get it and learn how to use it. There we go. We got tons of coins. Now Mario is very, very concerned about that dead toad, but at the same time, he is never one to ignore coins. It feels like even when the princess is kidnapped, he's just like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little coinage for myself, line the old coffers. He probably has a giant money vault like Uncle Scrooge that he dives into with all these coins. All right, there we go, and we're free. Sorry, Crate, you gave us no choice. Let's go check out the town. All right, we got a ton of coins. Coins are actually more useful in this game than most of the Mario games because we can buy stuff in the shop with them. A lot of Mario games, they're, they're kind of useless just for extra lives and stuff. I want them to make coins more useful like they did with rupees and Zelda in A Link Between Worlds where they really are used for stuff. But look at this place. It's polka dotted and I see some more toad husks. Some of them are standing up. It's like a creepy zombie apocalypse here. Hmm. Very, very foreboding. <laughs> wow, this is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain, Toad? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, uh, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I'll take a look around and see if I can find someone. Then you don't have to do my voice anymore. Bye. <laughs> There's no mistaking the postmark on this poor Toad. He was definitely mailed from poor Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? Hmm, a very cruel person, or some type of creepy guy. Uh-oh, the nuclear reactor in the town plaza <laughs> is going off. Okay, this is going to unlock a main mechanic. And look at that, some kind of device just rose out of the fountain. Maybe you should take a closer look at it. Maybe I should check on this little guy. Ooh, I don't know, he's dead, I guess. All right. <laughs> Look at that, some kind of device. Okay, so let's go check this out here. Hmm, emergency recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate these three switches hidden in the plaza. We have to hit the blue one, pull the yellow, and jump on the red. And I do know where these are, but pretty soon here, I'm gonna be flying blind. So there's the red switch. And that's activated already. Flipped that over. And we have the, uh, the yellow over here with the flower that we're gonna have to pull on. Just gotta hold it down, there we go. And that one's good. And then last but not least, some weird blue bricks over here. Before I do that, I forgot, you can't actually. It's horrible, and I don't condone it, but you can hit Peach. <laughs> ah, now we're getting somewhere. Mario, would you mind taking a look around for the switches and not hitting me with a hammer? Thank you very much. He's like looking at that dead toad. There we go. Just hammer those bricks. And we have unlocked something mysterious as well. Possibly a new friend. I mentioned the top, we have the Ninja Turtle colors, and then the two extra ones that never became turtles, but we might see a, uh, another fighting team with some of those colors. I've seen some of the trailers and things for this game. So here's a uh, new buddy here, our new Navi. Huh? Is that a pink can? Hmm. Let's check him out here. Mario, the device opened up and it looks like there's a pink can inside. How you doing, little guy? Let's see what's inside. Try opening the lid. You can just smack this guy with a hammer, but you can also get some extra <laughs> little physical comedy there. Oh, right. You need a specialized tool to open a paint can like that. Well, the only tool we have is a bit more blunt, but maybe it's worth taking a swing. There we go. Woke him up, and here's Huey. He's just mad with, <laughs> with red rage. Ah, what was that for? Ah, how would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? We're so sorry, it's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. Hmm, a paint can? You think I'm just some regular paint can? All right, you don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. But I am so much more than a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? Your treat? He's hitting on my princess. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. 
Only, it's not an ordinary letter. It's a toad, drained of color and postmarked from Port Prisma. It's pretty grisly. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom, and this is my friend, Mario. <laughs> Friends owned. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. <laughs> That's his only defining qualities to you? And I also have a very bright and hardworking retainer around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, he just died. Ah! Uh, what was that? Stop! Get off me! Oh no. Toad in trouble. Alright. That didn't sound good. That sounded like Toad. He might be hurt or in trouble. We're coming, Toad! First. <laughs> no, you stay here, princess. Just crumble yourself up in a defensive position. What are you waiting for? Go! All right, Mario to the rescue. We're gonna get into our first battle here to try to protect the loyal, hardworking retainer that Peach seems to value above Mario. Stop it! My, my beautiful colors! I'm melting! Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me! I, I can't feel my pants! But I did find something that might be, might come in handy. Take these and remember me fondly. <laughs> Thanks for the Hanafuda cards, lightly covered in toad barf. We got a bunch of cards. Uh -oh. oh gosh. <laughs> Horrible. And another toad bites the dust. Jeez, that was my favorite toad. Toad, no! Poor... What are you waiting for, Mario? Poor. Use those battle cards on this sucker. Toad. Toad. All right. We got a shy guy to fight. Here he comes. Hold it. <laughs> Do you even have any paint, Mario? Uh, what? You know, paint. That color for stuff coursing through our bodies. No? Everybody's made of paint. Didn't your mom and dad ever give you the talk? Oh, what are we gonna do? There's no paint around here. Mmm, ah, there's no other choice. Mario, you're gonna have to ring me out. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Don't be shy now. Here we go. Poor Huey. But we need this color. It's in the name of the game. We're ringing out his 3D form and gaining the hues of Huey. There we go. Now he looks much more like he fits in with the, the party here as a paper paint can. Whoa, I'm so light and airy. Is this what you paper folk feel like all the time? All right, enough flapping in the wind. The paint you just absorbed is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You'll have time to shower later. And, uh, j you know, my red blood, my, my blue tears, and my yellow sweat. Don't ask where that comes from. Use that paint to power up those battle cards your friend gave you. And then use the battle cards to plaster this introverted assassin, the shy guy. And he is, uh, he's got some friends now. Hell, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, if that's cool. No, that definitely is not cool. And since when are you, the three of you? Whatever, we've got cards, we've got paint. You know what to do, Mario. Do the Mario. All right, our first jazzy battle. And we're gonna learn about how to battle here as well. You have no idea what to do, do you? You're like a babe. No worries, Uncle Huey's here to give you a primer. <laughs> all right, so uh, the gamepad's gonna have my hand and everything on it, but you guys will see all the cards when they fly up and, and attack. So here are all the cards you got from Toad. They're called battle cards for obvious reasons. Each one lets you perform an action in battle. The pictures on the cards should give you a general idea. So I basically just have the jump cards right now. And uh, look, look at this one, it has two boots on it. I'll use that one first. That means the card will let you use a jump attack two times. The number of icons in the card shows the number of attacks. This big old boot will let you do one super powerful jump. Don't worry, everyone's bad at first. The bigger the icon, the stronger the attack. Simple, right? So we just kind of pick a card. Now pick a card and drag it to the spot. I'm gonna do that, that double jump here. And then when the card is ready, tap card ready. Well, don't worry, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I love their little dialogue. When the, uh, when the card's ready, you can move forward with it. Go ahead, give it a try. All right, so we just say we're gonna paint it here. To get, you can power up, the, the cards are black and white, but you power them up with paint. Now you just add paint to the card you selected. Just touch the card with your finger to paint it. The more you paint, the stronger it will be. So I'm gonna like fully paint that one since we got tons of paint. Paint as much or as little as you like and then tap done painting. So we don't have to use the touch controls if we don't want to. We can just kind of use the gamepad as well. 
Uh, when you're ready to play the card, just flick it towards the start of the fight. So here we go. Here it comes. Action commands are for losers. So I'm gonna try a double jump here. All right, now here's where the action really heats up. Press A at the critical point of attack to increase the damage you do or earn bonus attacks, a staple of the series. For jump attacks, press A right before stomping on your foe. If you time your attacks well, you can do up to five jumps. That's a whole lot of stomping. You can also tap the gamepad screen instead of pressing A. Here we go. Oh, and they are just so weak that, oh, we got it in one, but I did do a double one on that guy. All right, now you might not like this part as much. They're gonna attack you. But you don't have to just sit there and take it, Mario. You can defend yourself, it's the law. Press A right before an enemy attacks you to block some of the damage. Let me see if I can do this right. Oh, ouch. Didn't quite get it there, but you will eventually. I'm just gonna do a normal normal uh, boot card here, and we will paint it a little bit, maybe like half, oh, nope. It's so quick to paint. It was tough to, uh, to do it halfway, but I think when we're starting to run out of paint, I'll worry about that a little more. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I got, got a couple of them there, but I'll get better at it. All right, already improved from the first time I tried it. Color me impressed, you're a natural, kid. It's almost like you've been doing this for like five, or possibly six games if you count the Mario Luigi cameo. Oh, poor Toad. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Ah, man, I'm starving. How about that boy guy? Huh? Don't worry about Toad there, he'll be fine. We can, we can help him out. Walk it off, bud. Mm, maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. So no worries, he just needs a fresh coat of paint. He'll be as good as new. Really? You can revive him with paint? That would be a miracle. He won't come back as some kind of freaky zombie toad, right? No, ma'am. He'll be the same toad he's always been. That's the power of paint. You see, paint isn't just for powering up battle cards. Paint adds beauty and life to the world. So I've taken the liberty of loading up your hammer with all the colors of the rainbow. Go on, press X and give it a swing. Aim for your pasty friend here. So here we go. And Toad is back to us. <laughs> my, my precious Toad boy. Just five more minutes, Mom. Wait, what? Huh? I'm alive! <laughs> yeah, all right. He's so happy. I can feel my pants. Yeah! <laughs> a Toad without pants is just a mushroom. Oh, Toad, I'm so glad you're okay. Without your colors, we could hardly recognize you. See? That's the power of paint. Now I gotta warn you, I gave you everything I got, but it won't last forever. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, you're gonna have to resupply from time to time. So, uh, this can, uh, here, this, this can here just save my life? I knew all that recycling would pay off one day. Hey, just in case we get ambushed by any more freaks with bendy straws, where exactly are we supposed to find this magical life-giving paint you speak of? Easy, remember the fountain in the center of town? You know, the one where I was taking a nap before you smacked me with a hammer. Well, it's the prime source of paint for all of Prism Island. They got six big paint stars hooked up to the thing and they'll put out as much paint as you like. Plus, I mean, paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer. You'll see what I mean. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was a little worried because the fountain looked completely dry when we woke you up. Yeah, so I, I guess we just needed to turn it on or something, right? It was definitely dry when we got here. Mmm, but <laughs> dry. Good one, Toad. Mario, you might want to give this guy another whack with that hammer. What a chuckle stir. I mean, dry. Please, our big paint stars would never run dry. Come on, I'll show ya. Mmm, got some hard truths for, for old Huey. Paint stars? I don't know what a paint star is, but I definitely didn't see anything like that. Hmm. Mario, there's an, another colorless figure over there. Uh, we can't just leave him like that. What should we do? Let's bring him back to life. So if we do want to recharge, we can use the B button to get paint. And I love how, yeah, the colors depend on what we're smashing. So, you know, yellow crates for yellow paint and the uh, the orange from that one and the green to get that. And then, you know, get a you get a combination. So I get yellow and red from the, uh, the orange. So let's use our paint hammer here and a little bit of blue to bring this new toad back to life. Welcome to port, uh, uh, to Prisma card, what? Oh, wait, what's going on? Uh, last thing I remember, I was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty, shy guys. Mario? Nah, there's no way Mario would come all the way out to Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? Uh, how much you make for a gig like this? Eight? Nine coins an hour? Anyway, stop by my shop in the Blue District sometime and pick up some battle cards. 
and, uh... Oh, yeah. And if you find the shy guys who stole my cards, turn them into scrap paper. Way ahead of you, buddy. Okay, so we revived that toad. I missed a little glob of green paint. That'll refill some of my blue there. And, ooh, a sneaky toad. Hey, Mario, nice work with those battle cards. I gotta say, though, your action command game is looking a little sketchy. Hey, I just started. If you ever want to practice, just stop by my dojo, or er, house. I could just hang out and watch movies or whatever. I got surround sound. It won't be, uh, weird. <laughs> Netflix and, uh, never mind. Okay, so this little spot I did see in one of the the teaser videos, but we'll get back to that. Let's head into the plaza and see what Huey's up to. So at this point, we're, we're blind for me, and hopefully a lot of you guys, I have not seen anything past then. Ah, oh, my precious big bait stars. They're gone, all gone. Tough luck, buddy. I'm pretty sure he's ugly crying in there. <laughs> no. Mm, don't cry, Pink Can. Maybe we could help you find the, uh, what were they called? Big Paint Stars? It's no use. They're gone. All gone. Port Prisma without Big Paint Stars is like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. <laughs> mm, first of all, I don't really understand that analogy. And secondly, gross. Uh, thirdly, those paint stars do really seem really important to you, and you did just save my life. <laughs> Wait a second. What's that smell? It smells like a paint star. It's, it's bacon. Bacon, bacon. <laughs> That's where that voice comes from. <laughs> I knew it. Guys, look up there. It's one of our big paint stars. There it is, the red one. Oh, isn't it glorious? Okay, Princess Mario Toad, you guys can help me after all. Get it? Can? Nope. Help me recover that big paint star. I mean, I did basically sacrifice my lifeblood to get you out of that pickle back there. Mm, he's right. We definitely owe him a favor. And besides, I have a feeling that this is related to our mystery, the poor toad who was mailed to us. What do you say, Mario? Will you help Mr. Can? Can do. Mr. Can... We'll stop with the puns here in a second. Uh, Mr. Can's my father. You can call me Huey. Thanks for the help, guys. It means a lot. All right, let's go get that pig paint star, shall we? Now, don't mind me. I'll just tuck myself in your pocket. Blue skadoo. Yellow skadoo. If, if you want to chat, just press up to summon me. It's easier and less painful than hit me with a hammer. I know this town like the back of my can, so don't hesitate to ask me for advice if you get lost. I was trying not to make any more puns, but he went for one. We're gonna, gonna wait here for a while, Mario. Go paint the town red, and hopefully other colors, too. May you stay crisp in the face of crumbling adversity. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a little, a little prayer from Peach. Never a kiss, though. Uh, can you s come see me anytime you're feeling a bit wrinkly? I can help flatten you out and restore your HP. He did get a kiss at the end of Mario 64. But here we go. Now we can start coloring this place and restoring some toads. There we go. We get coins from these little blotchy patterns. I was just admiring the flowers when all of a sudden I felt so empty. If I had my own hammer, I could have tried hitting some of the flowers or trees around here to restore myself. Well, if I had my own hammer, uh, I had been conscious. Anyway, Port Prisma is so rich in color that paint comes bursting out of just about everything you see. Try it for yourself. You won't hurt anything. Let's try it on this flower here. There we go. Mario knows just what the right color is to use on these, uh, <laughs> these spots. Yeah, it's kind of context sensitive, I think. There we go. That's the word for it. We can get a little orange paint from this. I'm not going to go around and hit every little thing. Ooh, we got a nice worn out jump card. But yeah, basically anything that has color can be hit. And you can get some, some extra color from that. I should be trying to find some uh, some red because, yeah, we're, we're running out. There we go. We got a worn out hammer. Let's find something, or at least orange, like the benches, because that will help restore that. Green's not going to help me. There we go. Some giant orange globs. Get my red paint going. And is there, there was another toad over here, wasn't there? Oh yeah, oh, we can bring back our uh, our buddy here with the stamp on the back of his, his cap. Stop, leave me alone. I'm just trying to deliver the mail. Oh, he was the mailman toad. Mario, what happened to me? The last thing I remember, I was being assaulted by a bunch of shy guys with straws. Hmm, was that just a dream? I still feel like there's something wrong with my head. Can you take a look? <laughs> Wait, first things first, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Toadmaster General here in Port Prisma. Please feel free to stop by my humble postal branch over in the Blue District when you get a chance. You can even set up your mail and be 
forward to hear while you're in town. Isn't that great? Well, thanks for saving me, Mario. Gotta get back to work. There he goes. Oh, he runs like a little kid or a ninja. Okay, so that toad is already back to life. I keep thinking I'm seeing toads on the ground, but it's just, just little coin spots. We are gonna head to that shop, so it probably would pay off to have as many coins as we can, and I can stock up on cards. There's our first save point. All right, I like making at least the flowers nice and, and uh, colorful again. We got our first yellow toad. Not the bridge, anything but the bridge. Aw. Oh, that really stinks. Most of the good stuff in the blue district is on the other side of the bridge. I'm no expert on bridge repairs, but I am an expert on bridge experts, and we're definitely gonna need one. Mm, yeah, a bridge expert would be nice right about now. Don't we have one here in Port Prisma? We usually do, but he's out of town, somewhere doing something. Somewhere? Something? Well, I thought you said you were an expert on bridge experts. Why don't you have a GPS on him? Uh, never mind. I guess we'll have to forget about the bridge for now. So we'll come back to that later, I think. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you're lost and you're not sure what to do, just press up to talk to me. I won't bug you anymore. All right. The bridge guy left town to do something somewhere. Trust me, I'm an expert. <laughs> I, I told you I wouldn't bug you, but here we go. Hey, this toad's over here now. I'm afraid I can't make it back to my post until the bridge is fixed. Oh, let's save and head into the shop. Now, before we do... I want to kind of, I wonder if that's where we're going. Oh no, I missed it. <laughs> if you want to learn about saving, touch question mark on the gamepad to check out the manual. We could go, yeah, maybe, ooh yeah, there's a dead toad up there. <laughs> I keep calling them dead, but they're, they're pretty much alive. Let's go into the shop first, and then I'll go up and try to save that toad. The flowers that hang do not give you paint. I'll have to remember that. Okay, so we got, well, there's another one in here. There we are. How you doing, buddy? I might do my voices by color for the toads. You gotta pay for that. Oh, is he the uh, the shopkeep here? Or? Wait, what's going on? Where'd they go? I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws, and then everything went white. My voice is gonna be horrible at the end of this episode. <laughs> I wasn't slacking off, boss. I swear, I'll go drum up some customers. There he goes. All right. I think I'm getting more used to that voice, but again, I will uh, try not to do it too much here. We have so much blue paint. Might as well help this shop keep out. There we go. Free coins. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing? Rubbing your chin? Welcome. Many thanks for helping me out. Prisma Cardware is back in business. So we can buy some stuff here. I do have a bunch of those jump cards. Yeah, and one of the hammer. But I'm gonna, maybe we'll pick up some, uh, what is this, hop slipper? So we can look at the details. We can stomp on enemies. The painted ones are much more expensive, but they do more damage. We can hop on a single enemy up to 10 times. I might buy quite a few of these. Hopefully we're not maxed out on cards. And maybe some hammers as well. Whack on enemies with a regular hammer. Damages multiple enemies. And what's this, a mushroom? Makes you feel better. Just the thing when you're tired. I think we might have a mushroom. No, we don't. Hmm, maybe I'll get one. Oh, we do have some mushrooms, okay. We're good. I got some good stuff there. You need anything else? Nope. We're good. Oh, nope. <laughs> Keep buying stuff. All right, there we go. Come back soon. We are out of here. And on to that staircase. I'm going to help that toad out. Let me save again one more time. What are you up to? Cards for sale. Cards for sale. <laughs> hey there, traveler. It's a wild world, and you'll need plenty of battle cards to survive. Come on in and browse our selection. We're always adding new cards, and uh, oh, I'll say it again here if you missed it. <laughs> Is that always adding new cards in there. All right, I wanna, there's toads all over and I wanna get those flowers painted. Let's head through and try to help them out. There we go. Sometimes it takes more than one hammer slam to paint a blotch. Look at you, Mr. Fix-It. Fix-It Felix over here. This door's as good as new. It should open right up now. Colorless objects won't work right until you restore their color. So don't be stingy with that paint hammer. Green is, seems like it's gonna be a little more easy to get. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you're lost and not sure what to do, press X, <laughs> that's up to talk to me. I know, buddy. There we go, I'm gonna refill a bit of that. Green is uh, gonna be helpful, I'm sure, but also prevalent with all the plants. Oh, we got a little Goomba here. Goom, I mean, boom. Uh, I waited all day just to say that, and I totally blew it. Whatever, fight me. <laughs> little Goomba here, he was waiting for us. All right, Mario, let's do this thing. I'm gonna try out a hammer. And uh, get that going. We are good to go. I'll paint it a little bit, just a, just a smidge, and we'll send it into battle. 
All right, so he's gonna wind up probably like in the other games. Oh, a little too early, but I still took him out. <laughs> Perfect bonus, all right. We didn't get a hit, you know, damage, I think. If only I had said boom instead of goom. Aw, poor little guy. Ooh, what's that, cardboard hammer? Oh, it's a hammer scrap. If you collect enough of these, you'll be able to store more paint in your paint hammer. Enemies sometimes drop them after battle, so pick them up before they disappear. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I like how the, yeah, the meter turns into a hammer, and there's the handle, so we need a few more of those. All right, we are going to end it out here before we see what's going up on that, uh, that balcony and try to save that first big paint star. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'm having fun so far. I hope you guys are too, and I'll see you next time for more Paper Mario Color Splash. Splash.